Hi folks, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to merge contacts in QuickBooks Online. So a contact could be a customer or a vendor. So if you have two or more customers that are really meant to be just one contact in QuickBooks, but you inadvertently created the customer multiple times, you can merge them all into one and retain all the history of all the different customers you had into a single customer. That way it's easier for reporting, and for just you know, research in general. You can do the same thing with vendors. If you have multiple vendors, you can merge them all into one. So let's talk about the process and we'll kind of explain the different ways to do it because it's actually two ways to do it. There's the traditional renaming technique, which is the first thing we're gonna do. And then there's the new uh, merge contacts feature that QuickBooks Online released recently. And I'll show you how that works too. So I'm gonna go into sales and expenses first. And then I'm either gonna go into my customer list or my vendor list so I can figure out which are the contacts I want to merge. Now keep in mind that you cannot merge a customer with a vendor. So you can only merge a customer with a customer or a vendor with a vendor. So let's, uh, let's say I have multiple uh, versions of a customer by the name of Debra Labry. So I'm just gonna type DEB, press enter, and this is going to filter my customer list. And there's my three customers, Debra Larby, without an H on the Debra, Debra Labry with a B-R-Y, and then we have Debra Lardy. So this typical scenario that happens to us, right? We mistakenly created uh, the customer multiple times. So now we have to pick which is our destination merge. It's very important you need to know where you're merging from and what you're merging to. So the merging from is just gonna take the history of that customer and merge it into the existing customer the one that you go into is the one that's going to retain the contact information. So let's say right here under Deborah Labry, when I click on that, whatever her address is, like just click on edit here. So whatever the address is, the phone number, the email, anything you have here in the contacts or even attachments, that's only gonna be retained on the one that you're merging into. So once you identify the one you're gonna merge into, what you wanna do is you wanna copy that uh, name verbatim this is it's called the renaming technique so we're going to copy the name or the one we're going to merge into and and by copying we're just going to make sure that it's 100 uh accurate the one that we're going to go into then we're going to pick the one that we want to merge from okay we're going to pick this other one deborah larby and then we're going to edit that so we're going to edit that and this one has you know maybe the same email maybe a maybe a, another address but again we know for a fact that we're going to use the destination address of the one that we're gonna merge into. So to do the merge into, all you need to do is you replace the display name of whatever is there now, delete it, and then you're gonna paste the one that we copied uh, previously from let's say the correct one. So let's say this is the destination one, this is the one that we're merging into. So once we did that, you can ignore all the other text, the other text is really not important. And then I'm gonna click on save. And then it's gonna say, wait, I can't do that there already is another vendor or customer with the same name, do you wanna merge these two? So at that point, that's when you make the decision, double check that you did this correctly, and then click yes, and that's it, that's done, okay? So now, let's go back for a second, I'm gonna go back into customers, I'm gonna type Deb one more time, and press enter, and I notice that Debra Larby, the old one, has been deleted, and all the transactions that used to be in it, they now got moved or transferred over to the new Debra Library. Now, the reason why I can see these deleted uh, customers is because I have include inactive in my preferences of my list. If I uh, uncheck that, then if I search Deb, I will not see deleted customers anymore. You cannot get rid of those deleted. They're part of the permanent database, but at least you can hide them if you don't have this include inactive checkbox in there. So that's what you experience there is the renaming technique. Now let's talk about the new merge contacts feature. Now I'm going to go into vendors and unfortunately there, it, the, the button to do this is sort of quasi hit it, hidden. So you have to go into vendors, even if you're going to merge customers, it works either with customers or vendors. And then you have to click on any of the vendors. It doesn't matter which vendor you click on, click on any of the vendors. And then you're going to go into the edit vendor screen or the vendor detail screen and then from here we're going to click on the drop down menu next to edit we'll click on the drop down menu and then we click on merge contacts now by default when i click on merge contacts the customer i had or the vendor that i had selected originally 
gets automatically filled in. Okay, that's fine. You could change that. So let's put here Deb and let's find Deborah Lardy, which is the one that we want to merge from. And then Deborah Larbri, Labri, or I, in this case, I could still just paste to make sure that that is correct, right? And then select it. And then that's how we um, know for sure that we selected the correct one. Now it says here, make sure to save address, phone numbers, and other details from this contact. It's talking about the from because that's all going to be deleted. That's exactly what they mean. It's going to it's going gonna, it's gonna to merge into the one that already has information, which in this case is Deborah Lavery. So I'm going to click on Merge Contacts and done. Now, because I'm in, I'm in the vendor screen, I'm going to continue to be in the vendor screen. Uh, so I'll just do an example using the same tool um, from here. So I can come here to Filter and I can type, let's say, uh, 7 hyphen, and then I look at all my 7-11s, right, typical. So I have 7-11 and then I have 7 dash the word 11 and let's say I want to merge these two so I just click on the one that I want to merge from so let's say that this 7-11 is the one that I want to merge into so I, I I won't click on that I'll click on the one I want to merge from that way this is selected by default then I click on the drop down click on merge contacts my one I'm merging from gets automatically done for me which is perfect and then I come in here and select the one uh, the one that I want 7-11 and then I click on Merge Contacts and Done. And let's say this one, I want to do the same thing with this one, which is 7-Eleven with a bunch of numbers. Typical stuff that happens too. Uh, come in here and I can either put 7 dash, whoop, delete that again. I think it was 7 dash 11. So we're going back to the renaming technique, right? So we go to Save. Okay, and then Yes. And then I think I had another one over here. I think I had it just spelled out with the word 7. There we go. So we have these weird ones that say 7-Eleven. Let's say I want to merge those two. So I click on the drop down menu, click on merge contacts. And again, I go to the one that I actually want, which is 7-11, right? You see how these are different. And then I click on merge contacts. So there you have it. That's exactly how uh, the entire process of merging works. Um, I hope you like that and I'll see you in the next one.